Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Just start my speech now The moment you give up Is the moment you let someone else win The most inspiring reminder From the basketball legend We never forget Kobe Bryant Who had inspired countless hearts About the thoughts and feelings Of greatness, drive, fame And loneliness We as a human should feel and portray it. I was intrigued the moment I learned that this quote was so undeniably true. I agree how I am so galvanized by this due to the fact that I am into anything that is competitive. I strongly feel that this has so much to do with my studies and education where I feel like I am always molding myself to be a smart cookie. I truly feel that giving up on something is means letting other people win. That means be ready to live in despair. To be true, it's never easy to stay focused, to stand there and say, hey, everything's going to be alright. No, it's not that. It's me who is inspired by I am never going to give up on anything after all the effort I put to be dejected by people, to be seen weak, to be seen as I got nothing but myself. The moment I created the light and the chances, I am never going to let it down. The moment, the moment I said I am done is the moment I see them walk tall and I am never ever going to let that happen. Either for the exams, jobs, sports, life, everything. And how much longer can I stand not to give up on something? That's what really matters. In 1945, Europe was in the middle of a heavy conflict between the Allies and the Axis. The Germans were slowly being pushed back by the Allies in the hopes of ending the war. The Germans were in desperate struggle to fight back and guess what? They gave up on defending a beach called Sherberg. Little did they know, this decision alone caused the tides of war to turn on the Allies, helping them to march further right into German territory. This alone resulted in German surrender and restored Europe's peace. In January 2009, a plane flying from New York City to North Carolina struck a flock of birds shortly after taking off, losing all of its engine power. The captain, Sully Sullenberg, was left with no choice but to initiate an emergency landing on an open field where a hundred things can go wrong. But Sully, oh no, Sully, he did not let things happen. He instead did something that we now know as the Hudson River Landing. With only around 3 minutes left to stay airborne, he steered the plane right into one of the most populated area in the world and landed right on the Hudson River safely. His determination and pure will to not give up saved all 155 lives. And this is so inspiring. These stories are almost nothing in comparison to the competitions I face today. But trust me, they all share the same thing. The determination to not give up and keep fighting for what they want. About me, it's a big lie if I said I never gave up on anything. But every time I feel despondent and on the verge of putting all my time and effort away before getting to the end, I try to remember how it feels to be satisfied with what I have achieved. What I'm trying to deliver today is that we should never ever give up too early. Always give the best and the best that we can before getting to the end. Even if nothing happens in our favor, always remember never stop moving and never ever let them win. That's all for me. Thank you. Terima kasih saudara Aiman. Sekarang saya jemput Encik Syahmi untuk bertanyakan soalan. Dipersilakan.
Hello, and very good evening. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for your beautiful and inspiring speech. So, um, here's a question for you. Um, okay. If you could travel in the next five years to see yourself who has a difficult time in his studies and life, how would you help the future you? I repeat, if you could travel in the next five years to see yourself who has a difficult time in his studies and life, how would you help the future you? Thank you very much. Saudara Aiman, anda ada 30 saat untuk bersedia bermula dari sekarang. Selamat sudah 30 saat masa persediaan. Sekarang saya menjemput saudara Aiman untuk menjawab soalan juri selama 2 minit. Dipersilakan. Alright. Thank you for the question, Your Honor. Alright, that was a very good question. I would say in the next 5 years if I were in the difficult time. Everybody goes a difficult time once at least once in their life. But if I would go through a difficult time I would trust my friends to help me. I have very close friends that would very help me a lot. We help each other a lot uh, in tough times. And sometimes people don't really understand how important friends are. Even sometimes your family can abandon you, but a good friend wouldn't. Other than that, other than a good friend, another thing that can help me is being believing in myself. If I, for example, was going through a hard time, maybe repeating a semester in university, I would repeat to myself, don't worry, this would happen to a lot of people and I just need to regain myself over and over again until I recede to the top. Another thing that I would really recommend to the future me, if I could say that, uh, is by always remember to put all the problems down. Everybody has their own problems, but if you put your problems as um, as a burden, if you think about all your problems all time long, you feel like you would you wouldn't you can't actually move. Sometimes, what you humans we usually forget to drop down is our problems is to put it down and regain our focus on the life if you put your life your, your problems all the time in your head it will get confused you will get confused between your clear goals and the problems you are facing i think that's all from me thank you terima kasih saudara aiman peserta giliran kelima kita pada malam ini